Hello, I'm Ella Isakov, a medical intuitive and a wealth activator, and this is another episode of Inside Healing, 10 to 15 minutes of insight and healing on different themes <laughs> that you can listen to. Actually, today is I wouldn't listen to every day. I would say today only when you feel called to listen to. Subscribe so you never miss a moment of insight and healing and share with someone. Today's is a good one. I'd say everybody struggles with this at some point. And it's almost like we get patches of this going on. But ultimately, it's something that does need clearing. <laughs> so today's episode is all about drama. Are you prone? Do you tend to have drama happen with people? conflict, uh, verbal arguments, like not talking or talking and not being nice. It's like just really getting caught up either with a drama with, within you and one person or drama within like a unit, like a family or drama within the workplace. Do you tend to get caught up in the drama of others and it just seems to always happen? Here's the thing about this. Things, these are patterns, first of all. These are patterns that you are drawn to because, hmm, how do I explain this where it's understood in a kind of easy fashion? In our past lives, we've had fear-based patterns that have started up. Whether it's self-sabotaging with ourselves or self-sabotaging with other people, but we actually live with these patterns and they just keep repeating themselves. It's like, what's that uh, a groundhog day? It just keeps repeating itself. And oftentimes it's a fear-based something, pattern of something that's living inside you until it's cleared, until it's, until we've, mm, until we see that this is not who we are in short. If you, if you have a, <clears throat> I do something called core pattern reading. It's on my website. And that clears your deepest fear-based patterns, the main one uh, from a past life that you keep repeating over and over again. But this, what I'm talking about today is not necessarily that, because we do actually have many fear-based patterns, but we draw to ourselves, we magnetize to ourselves what, mm, what we believe inside of our being, and the fears that we carry. So yes, it creates conflict. Yes, it creates drama. This is a very actually in-depth topic that to make it work within 15 minutes is going to be hard. <laughs> but all you need to understand is a karmic pattern that's fear-based generally affects you, like your self-sabotage or how you are with others. And even if it's not included you, somehow you get drawn into that. Because here's the thing, our lifetime, it's a little precious lifetime. We are here to learn. Like we have lessons, like it's part of the practicum, if that makes sense. Even our ailments are part of the practicum or our conflicts or whatever it is that we're going through, our circumstances, even our traumas are part of the practicum for us to learn and grow and really understand that that is not who we are. So until we, oh, this, is, this is actually a very deep sentence that I'm going to say, and I know it's going to seem impossible, like how, how, until we see that this fear-based pattern that's making us repeat things, whether it's health, conflict within our being, self-sabotage or with others, until we see that this is not really who we are, until we stop identifying with this, it will keep repeating. And we will keep it, we will keep attracting it. Whether there's a self-sabotaging relationship that goes over and over again, or whether you're caught up in dramas, or whether you're you're like, like working towards something and all of a sudden, boom, something always happens and it stops and it's tracks. It's hard to believe because we often think that others. It's always happening to us, but believe it or not, most of the time, it's what we 
so hard to explain this in verbal words. It's how it's what we, our belief systems within us, our fears within us, our patterns that reside that we identify with are what's causing all of this, including ailments, self-sabotage, things that we get caught up, and even our circumstances. But say uh, as a child, whatever you were born into, maybe that was tra traumatic, that is part of your practicum to overcome, to learn, and to clear. Whew. It's so it's it's very intricate stuff that we're talking about today. So I'm going to run two sacred activations. One is called karmic loop to clear that loop that you keep repeating over and over again, no matter what it is. It doesn't have to be. The, the request for this was, I'm always caught up in someone else's drama. But this karmic loop, sacred activation, is for anything that you're repeating that's a pattern that's not serving you. And then the second one is called drama, drama. Are you always caught up in drama? So we're clearing that as well. Let's just begin. Take a few expansive breaths. Close your eyes if it feels right for you. And let every exhale bring you further into your body. And let the next exhale bring you down, down, down through all the layers of Mother Earth until you get to the heart of Mother Earth. And it's from that place, I'm going to ask you to open up to receive, know that you're worthy of receiving and shedding whatever it is that's not serving you. Opening up to healing. Karmic loop, sacred activation. As I run this, if there's something that you know that you're repeating, whether it's to the relationship or somehow you self-sabotage or with others or circumstance, you can actually have that in your mind. If you don't have it in your mind, it's fine. It's just going to do what it needs to do because this, these are higher forces. These are uh, guides. These are your higher selves. So as this is run, your team, your higher self is helping you with this kind of group safe activation. I'm going to start running drama, drama as well. So they're going to be kind of running. It's called stacking where they're both kind of running. Simultaneously. Drama, drama, sacred activation. What drama are you ready to release from your life? What drama is like causing you excess stress and tiredness and even exhaustion that we may not even feel until we're overly exhausted? Drama, drama, sacred activations. Accept to receive. Let both these activations run with ease and grace. 
in the speed that's going to serve your highest good. And make your way down, down, down through all the layers of Mother Earth until you get to the heart of Mother Earth. And feel the grounding, the integrating, the healing energies of, I mean, our loving mother. No matter what relationship you have with your mother, the Mother Earth is the energy that will always hold you. And let that also be part of the healing of the Divine Feminine and any... Mm, just bring it back to the feminine love. Make your way up to your heart center and take a few expansive breaths. Repeat this out loud. I'm fully back into my body full of love and ease. I'm fully back into my body, full of love and ease. I'm fully back into my body, full of love and ease. And then start to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. And when you're ready, you may open up your eyes. Please let me know in comments how this was for you. This is a deep one. And I think, you know, nobody is free of, you know, we've had thousands of lifetimes of fear and trauma. So, of course, it's not going to be resolved because we just, we haven't really, we've had generations of not being able to face our traumas and not being able to tune in and do any kind of healing to clear it, not to clear it, to clear it, well, clearing it right now energetically, but to face it. How do we, we haven't been really in touch with our emotional body to be, be, begin uh, to face and process this stuff. And it's not our fault. It's not our parents' fault. It's just, it's cultural stuff. It's world trauma stuff. Share this with somebody that could probably use this. And as always, it's deep, deep honor. Um, so, it, you know, it's such a rewarding life to be of service in this way. In all my, in all my containers, it's such an honor. And I still have to like pinch myself that I get to do this. So thank you for allowing me to be, to spend these whatever minutes with you. As always, much love.